The Motoromas present a day trip to Porto Venere on the Italian Riviera. And here we are. Porto Venere. Looks very nice, doesn't it? I don't know if you've noticed. Let me zoom in for you. A bit more. The George's flag. They're everywhere. St George's flag, what's it doing here? That's history. I don't know. Maybe St George came here for his ollie bobs. <laughs> everywhere. Or maybe they've just got the same flag that we've got. I'll find out for you. Clinking boats. I like clinking boats. Look at that view there. Some flipping big boats in that harbour. Big windows, man. What a nice place to have a restaurant. Looking out to sea. Although, it's all closed up now because it's November. Come back in the summer. Nice place for a pizza. Oh, yes. This cemetery has got class, man. Look at that. Beautiful. Look. Grotter Byron. He was here too. Clearly wasn't joking. This grotto was the inspiration of Lord Byron, who as a dance swimmer defied the waves. Defied the waves? Look at that. He was a nutter. It's a bit warm. I think I'll go for a swim just to cool off. Maybe not. I've just googled it. It's got nothing to do with St George's Ollie Bobs. It's the Ligurian Republic flag from 1797 to 1840. Hey, I was a factoid for you. And with the amount of them flying around, it seems they don't want to be part of Italy even now. Porto Venere, not one of the five of the Cinque Terres, but it should be. You have to come here. It's really nice. 